Well, Microsoft has not only upgraded its operating system with the launch of Windows XP, it has also come out with a new upgrade to its web browser, Internet Explorer version 6. And here to tell us about the changes in IE is Mike Elgin, former editor of Windows Magazine, now editorial director for Interex. Mike, uh, let's talk about some of the things that are new in IE. A lot of people don't even know that if there's, a, there's a 6 out there with lots of different things in it. And then one of the things you like is this picture resizer or whatever. Explain what that does. Well, what this is, you're looking at here at a picture, uh, standard p JPEG in, a, in the browser window, and it looks uh, pretty normal. Now, you'll notice if I reduce the size of this picture, the picture reduces as well, automatically. It's mm -hmm. called picture resizing. Right. It's a very nice feature. And in fact, when I click on this picture, I get a button down here that when I click on it, it gives me the real size of this picture, which, which is a humongo see, picture. It's yeah. huge. Now, yeah. this is what the old version of Internet Explorer would show right, you. Right, exactly. Click again, and then click on the button, and I'm down here. Mm -hmm. So that's a really nice feature. Okay. Uh, okay, what else can we talk about? There's the media bar, which is kind of a cool way to interface with, with media stuff. That's right, and this is probably the biggest new feature in Internet Explorer 6. Now, by clicking on this button, you can toggle between media bar and no media bar. Mm -hmm. And what this allows you to do is listen to music. So everything's still going over here on your browser and whatever site right. you're working on. You can go anywhere you want and there's a universal sort of CD player down here and you can listen to music and okay. watch movies and so on. Pretty neat feature. All right, media bar. Now, another thing that's nice, sort of relates to a picture resize in a way, is the ability to print selectively with through, through right. a better print preview. That's right. One of the big demands from some earlier versions was the ability to print preview. And of course, they put that into a previous version right. of Internet Explorer. Now, they've really done something great. Now, I've got a a page here with frames. I'm going to click on Print Preview. And you'll notice an option in the Print Preview button here that lets me look at the page as it looks right. uh, in real and life. A lot of times you don't want to print the page as it looks. That's right, because oftentimes they're well, advertising and yeah. so on. So I'm going to select one of the options, which is All Frames Individually, and then I'll reduce the size here. And I can see uh -huh. each of the frames individually and print them individually. Ah, cool. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice feature. All right, so uh, now another thing, let's talk about Related Links, which is a nice thing that's built into IE6. Okay, well, here we've got the Computer Chronicles site, and we've got related links on this side. Now, Where as you get that from? It's getting that from Alexa, uh -huh. uh, which is the search engine. Right. It's very intelligent. It actually works very nicely. Not too bad. Netcafe was the first thing you came up with. That was pretty smart. That's right. Okay. Now, as you, uh, one problem with it is that as you go across the Internet, these links stay there until you select okay. the option again. They don't okay. shift with the pages it, that you got it. look at. All right, uh, another nice feature that's built in is improved privacy controls, right? Particular cookies and stuff like that. Show us what it does. Okay, well, I'm bringing up the Scientific America site, and I'm going to demonstrate this before I tell okay. you what it does. Now, as I bring up this site, I'm getting cookies both from Scientific America and also from their advertisers. And yeah. I've selected to, to be prompted for the advertiser's cookies and just give me the Scientific America So cookies. you can choose one cookie but reject the third party Third party cookies, cookies okay. are, are rejected. So I'm going to block each of these individually. Then the site will come up. I think there's probably another cookie on here from a third party. There it is. Two mm. more. And now I've got the site. It, no cookies other than the one from Scientific okay. America. Because the problem is a lot of advertisers, you don't know who those are going to be. Exactly. And uh, another great feature related to that, if I may, is down here you'll notice a, uh, a little icon. The little lower right hand corner we're looking That's at right. right. It's a right privacy now. report. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to double click on that and uh -huh. I get this and I'll double click on one of these and I get all the information that Internet Explorer knows about. What's been going on under the hood about. Right. Tells you what it did in to, to protect your privacy yeah. because a lot of advertisers will drop a cookie even if you tell them not to. Yeah. Alright, so a uh, couple of nice features here. I think we covered uh, uh, just a few of them but some of the key ones. Uh, it's kind of an easy decision on an upgrade, isn't it? Absolutely. It's free. Free of charge. If you're already using an old version of Internet Explorer, this is better. Yeah. And if you're using XP or XP Pro, you've already got this. Built in. So yeah. go in there and, and yeah. find some of these new features. Final question. There's still a lot of Netscape fans out there. And in fact, Netscape has been ahead of the curve a little bit with some of these features. Yeah. How would you compare the new Netscape versus IE6? Generally speaking, I think IE6 is a little ahead. Uh -huh. I've always been a big fan of having both. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't do any sure. harm yeah. to yeah. you. But if you're a Netscape fan, stick with Netscape. This doesn't push it far enough ahead gotcha. for you to lose that preference. Right. Thanks so much, Mike.